to show you how to keep a fish alive and um, nicely kept. First, you're going to use a stringer, so obviously you can use any kind of stringer. Attach it to the land, and then you just put them in the water simply. Just keep them fresher; it doesn't, you know, allow them to deteriorate as fast. Uh, next, so once you want to gut the fish, uh, you can be humane about it. You can uh, hit him with a rock or uh, spike his head to kill the fish first before you um, gut them or field dress. But for me, this uh, this fish is already dead. This is a brook trout I ca we caught today. It's a pretty nice brook trout. I think probably about 10 inches or 11, 12 inches. And uh, so it's already dead because its lungs were uh, kind of messed with when it was the hook was in it. So uh, so it's already dead. I don't have to worry about killing it. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna start from the butt right here, as you can tell right here. You're gonna start from the butt, then go up, cut up, and try to get a sharper knife because mine's kind of dull. It's not as great. So you just want to cut up all the way. Like, like so. Ooh. Cut like this. Probably hard to see. But, like I said, get, yeah, so there you go. All the way up to the gills. You want to cut up all the way. See how I have a nice assertion like that? And then you want to go into between right there. And you want to cut cut right here to actually be able to pull out the gills and it pull out, pulls all the, the guts out of it. Probably want to take this out stringer first. Right. So you want to cut, there's a little spot right here you want to cut. Now that release all the gills and all the guts that, that come along with uh, the fish. So cut that, now you, all you got to do is pull the gills down like so. A little bit tough. See how it's gonna pull all the guts and all the stuff right out of the fish. Never put it in the water, put it in the bank or for other animals to eat. And then the last step is see, this is a female fish, has a baby, the eggs in there. Last step you want to do is clean it out, get the blood uh, vein and stuff out of the, the fish so it's a little bit cleaner to, to eat. And once you get all that stuff out, the fish should be clean for you to throw on the frying pan or the grill or the fire, however you're going to eat it, and voila, that's a, that's a clean fish right there. It's a clean trout to eat. Thank you for watching.